Hey guys, what's up? It's Apollo here, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War. Another classic battle here, so I'm excited to be back. We got a good one here. It's a 3 vs. 3. We got a little bit of a back and forth battle here, so I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So this, this one is actually sent in by Trevor here. He's playing as Milan. So let's go ahead and check out his army, see his teammates, and uh, let this battle unravel before our eyes. So we're, we're going to start with Trevor, uh, Trevor here with his uh, Milanese army. So he's got some peasant crossbowmen, two, two of those in the front. But behind them, we have the Genoese crossbowmen. So two units of those. So that's his total four skirmishers there. Very cool uh, mix of crossbows. One good, one bad. Uh, in the secondary or third line, I should say, we got Pike Militia. So one, two three units four units of pike militia and then behind them we've got the backbone of the army this is the dismounted broken lancers so one two three four units of them he's also got some italian spear militia probably just cannon fodder something like that and uh he also is bringing some trebuchet so one unit of trebuchet I think for the rules for this battle, uh, everyone could bring one artillery, but it, it couldn't be like a gunpowder artillery, and they can't use flaming shot. So they just use their, um, <coughs> excuse me, they just use their like normal shot. And then, and then in the back, we do have the general's bodyguard and, of course, the knight's hospitaller. Very good unit here, mixed in with some knight's templar. So four total of the cav. Very cool stuff. Let's go to his allies. We've got... Poland now Poland is a tough faction to use because their infantry is not very good they're more of a cav focus uh army but he's got some crossbow militia in the front line so that's his you know I think about four units of them uh, he's got some dismounted Lithuanian cav as well so actually let's see one two three oh yeah that's right so three units of the crossbows one of the Lithuanian cav then he's got a ballista and the secondary line he's bringing some woodsmen just cheap woodsmen accompanied with some dismounted polish knights these guys look awesome cool to see them on the battlefield love watching them run in slow motion got some polish nobles as well it's a light missile cav and then on the flanks he's bringing the polish well he's got his uh general's bodyguard but he also has some polish knights more polish knights over here this is going to be the heartbeat of his army if they got if these guys can't get enough kills it's going to be a big problem in the long run so it's all up to the calf let's go to the final army on this side it's the hungarians so they're bringing some horse archers so he's got two units of horse archers and then he's got some pavi's crossbow militia and then over here finally he's got another unit of crossbow militia then he's bringing some pavi spearmen so two units of them actually a lot of these spearmen not it's not a terrible unit but it's going to be a tough one to, to win with this infantry that's on this side they're definitely lacking infantry quality he's got a catapult for his artillery we've got some hussars for his cav so nice really fast moving uh, cav he's got some croat axemen these guys are cheap but they can pack a punch you got the general's bodyguard and of course let's not forget the dismounted chivalric knights these guys are really cool can't wait to see them in action definitely some solid infantry there but overall i think their infantry is lacking just based upon the factions they've selected let's now go to their opponents and oof this is a scary force so we've got the portuguese so they're bringing some pike militia they got a long line of pike militia which is okay because the milan is bringing pike militia as well in the front he's got some pavi's crossbowmen these guys are pretty good. They're going to shred. I mean, honestly, they're going to shred. So he's got three of the Pavis, and then he's bringing... Oh, he brought a lot of crossbows. Look at that. One, two... Wait, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six units of crossbows. Two of them being peasant crossbowmen. This is definitely going to be a... Um, what do you call it? Like a shoot and scoot kind of army. You're going to try to force the enemy to charge into you. That's... That's what I think he's planning on doing. He's also got some mailed knights on the flank. So a couple mailed knights. And he's got dismounted Portuguese knights. Good two-handed. And then, of course, we have the conquistadors mixed in with some dismounted Portuguese knights and more conquistadors. So there you have it, guys. And, of course, over here, we've got two more mailed knights. So they don't really have a lot of great cav. Their infantry is pretty solid. 
but their strength is in the crossbows that's for sure let's go to their let's go to their teammate we've got sicily led by snap he's got chivalric knights and hospitaler uh knights in the back behind the castle uh, the rest of his army is bringing some pike. A lot of pikes in this battle. Uh, usually, I, I I do like a no pike rule, uh, but it'll be interesting to see so many pikes fight it out. We got a trebuchet ready to open fire, and then behind that we have some Pavi's crossbowmen. So again, very similar build to his ally. So we'll see um, how that works out. But yeah, really, really, really good strong crossbows for sure. We got another. Oh wait. I guess you can bring two artillery. Oh, that's that's my bad. So you can bring two artillery, and that's what Sicily has. Uh, he might have some more units in the, hidden in the trees, but for now, this is all that we can see. For the final army, let's go check out the Venetians. Again, lots of pikes here. We've got some Italian spear militia. They're, you know, so-so. we got more pike militia. Lots and lots of pike. It just seems like they all kind of have the same strategy here. We've got uh, the general's bodyguard in the back. Unfortunately, a lot of the Venetian troops are hidden by the forest. Uh, we do have a trebuchet as well, so that's pretty cool. But I think we're going to have to see his army later on as this battle progresses. Let's go ahead and go into normal speed and get this show on the road. And it is going to start off here with some archer fire and artillery fire. So Milan is going to be the first one to take their shot. There we go. They're loading up their crossbows. You'd think they would have those a little bit early. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. The Pavis are the first to take their shot, and they're staying in um, normal formation. I definitely think loose formation is the way to go here on online battles. You might be able to get away with it in single player, uh, but you definitely want to do a uh, loose formation. It really, what the reason you want that is you want the survivability of your unit to, to last. Um, you don't want to get crushed now he is getting crushed right now because well he's taking on a superior unit so loose or normal formation it doesn't matter he's gonna get annihilated he's got more crossbows up on this hill it's not a great start for milan okay so sorry about that little edit there i actually turned up the sound effects uh, volume because i was like why can't i hear like any of the fighting or the men dying or whatever so we fixed that here we go. Here comes a bold push from Milan, which includes pretty much his entire army. He's setting out cav. He's sending out infantry. He's moving up the pike militia, and they are getting blasted as they charge forward and trying to take on this army on the hill. Look, here comes another row. This unit should make it uh, without taking too many casualties. We'll see. Now we got cav closing in as well. Oh, yeah, the cab is going to close in on the archers. This is this is a good move by Milan here. A fantastic, and we got infantry closing in as well. This is a great move by Milan, a great, a great aggressive play. That's exactly how you want to be against an army like this with so many archers. And now we got the conquistadors closing in. Look at this fight right now. A nice battle line. So Portugal trying to close in with their infantry to protect their archers. Yeah, I don't know. I, they should have retreated their archers. Uh, they kind of left them high and dry there. But let's see if the, the Portuguese uh, infantry can close in here and try to chip away at the Milanese um, infantry. At Milan's infantry. Oh, yeah. The dismounted Portuguese knights. The dismounted knights for any Western um, Christian nation, if it's, if it's called dismounted knights, uh, they're going to be really good at taking out enemy cav this is what they you know this is what they do they're not as good as taking on uh other knights with swords and shields but they can take on cav no problem they're also a good shock unit um they can um definitely uh you know get a good charge off with their their weapons maybe from the rear or whatever but you don't want them as a frontline troop that is for sure so nice little back and forth there, but it definitely looks like Portugal is getting the edge. Nice little flanking charge on the general of Milan as well. Really good stuff there. So we'll see how Milan can recover from this. Right now, they're just doing a lot of cycle charges into the calf. They also have some spears in the mix, which is promising because they're going to help take down that calf. But is it going to be enough? It's, uh, it's going to be tough to say gonna be tough to say here comes more and more charging here on some broken lancers 
charging against the uh, the pikes. The enemy generally is oh. dead. Oh, oh! Sent the idiot to hell. I wish I knew where that was. Um, I don't know whose general that was. Well, let's see how else it's going. It looks like it's a little bit slower pace here. We're definitely just a lot of skirmishing going on. Is this three catapults? Okay, I guess you can have three catapults. I thought it was max one, then max two. I guess it's okay to have three. But it's definitely... Maybe you can have as many catapults as you want. I don't know. I wouldn't really re recommend getting catapults, honestly. Like, they just don't do enough killing. Like, the trebuchet, I personally think, is a bad catapult. I, I like... Maybe it's... Maybe it's possible you can get a lot of kills with them, but I feel like you, you got to get really lucky. And if you're taking on an appointment, uh, uh, an appointment, what? An opponent that is very fast moving, very agile, you know, moves his units very efficiently, your trebuchet is not going to hit too much. You might get a lucky hit here and there. Maybe you'll get 30 kills or 40 at the most. My Lord, you're better off just getting another horse, unit of cav or something. And there we go. Uh, Milan is down to half their force. And here comes Poland. Half the enemy force Poland's remains. coming in to support. Look at this. They're coming in with the Polish Knights to try to overwhelm the Portuguese Cav. This is awesome. This is a great battle. I love the teamwork here. Poland saw his ally in need, and here he is. Now, unfortunately for Milan, more units are breaking over here against this Portuguese force. He's got a nice hill position with these crossbows. And if he's not too careful, uh, these crossbows can rip through all that cav. But this is a huge, huge charge right here. Look at this. Portugal. What the heck? What are you? Uh, Portugal's being left high and dry here as he's getting double teamed. And that actually might pull off. That might just work. Now, if you're Sicily, you, you got to be doing something here. Either sending Cav to help Portugal or going full force against Poland because his Cav is busy elsewhere. Like, what are you doing? Oh, this is a great. This I, I, I genuinely enjoying this. It's it's great to come back to a classic. Got some conquistadors. These guys are gonna hold out for a while, but this Cav is gonna focus on weaker targets. They're gonna go for the pikemen from the flank and possibly for the crossbows, but Portugal is falling back look at this portugal is falling back and it looks like mostly all that they have are crossbows this is a great turn of events for milan who is honestly struggling and if it wasn't for portugal most likely would have been utterly defeated by uh, i'm sorry poland if it wasn't for poland if milan would have been utterly defeated by portugal Sorry, I'm probably going to be mixing those two factions up all day. Try not to. All right, let's go back over this way where Milan has now shifted a lot of what's left of their forces, which is mostly crossbowmen. He does have some infantry here and there, but he's starting to shift over to the Sicilian defenses. And then over on this side, the Venetians. We're starting to see more of the Venetians. Oh, he's got some Venetian archers. These guys are really good. Uh, currently firing at the archers of the Hungarians. Chef Jimmy is the commander of the army today. And he's trying to fight back here against the enemy artillery. And it looks like he's just chipping away at the pike militia. I don't know if that's really worth it. He's just trying to soften up the Sicilians. But I, again, I don't know if that's, if that's worth it. So... We'll see how that plays out. Portugal running down the road. Look at these. Pavi's crossbows running down. It looks like he's going to 100% link up with the Sicilians. And this is definitely going to be a stand near the castle. Now we've got some Norman, epic Norman knights. They're looking for a soft target. Let's see what they go for. I think they're going to go for this dismounted Lithuanian cav. They're taking some... Big hits there, but they do get a good charge. Very nice. They're going to be countercharged by the spearmen, trying to clear them off their archers. But the damage is done. The Norman Knights need to get out of there. Yeah, don't don't stay for those. That was a good charge. Honestly, that was a great charge. 
Let's see, he might be doing it again. We got the general's bodyguard going in this time. Now, the balance of power, guys, is still even. Uh, this is still anyone's game. Nice charge. Fantastic charge. Annihilating those spearmen. See, I don't know why Sicily is being so defensive against Poland. Especially after Poland charged his cav to support Milan. That's the strength of Poland's army. And the fact that Sicily just stood there is a huge victory for Poland. Because his army, his infantry would have struggled to hold back the Sicilians without cav support. But now that the, he has the cav support back in position, this is going to be this is going to be trouble. Now we got Trebuchet opening fire. Looks like they're going for the uh, the Portuguese. What's left of the Portuguese? More Sicilian cav falling back for some reason. I don't know why he's going so far back. We'll see that how this plays out. Defensive, defensive, defensive. That's all I'm seeing here. Not good. Not good. Yeah, I get being defensive when you got the high ground and everything, but when your teammate got double teamed, you got to send some help. You got to do something. Either attack the opponent. I mean, look at the carnage. Look at this. The carnage. So much cav in this one area. Ah. So, it's definitely not over yet, guys. Uh, it's, it. you know, this very much can still be a victory. I mean, Portugal is not wiped out. They still have a lot of archers, and this is going to be a problem for uh, the other, you know, their opponents. And here comes another, is this another general charge? Oh, for some reason, they didn't put their lances down, but they're still going to get in. What are you guys doing? They're going to get into the unit and chop them up a little bit, but I don't know if that was really worth it. Maybe they, they might want to just keep charging and try to get this catapult out of here. No, they're going to disengage. Yeah, so th they're definitely going for an, a skirmish victory here. They're going for a skirmish victory. If they can chip away at these skirmishers, which is exactly what they're doing, there's th that's going to force the Hungarians, uh, the Polish, and the uh, Milanese here, Mil Milan. Uh, the yeah, the uh, anyways, the uh, <laughs> brain fart. Uh, th that's going to force them to charge in. Because they're not going to have the answer to all the crossbows and archers of the Sicilian allegiance. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, they are. Look at this. Some spears getting a little too far up. This is not good. Poland. I feel like Poland sending their army in piecemeal. Let's see how good the pikes do here. Oh, yeah. They're doing just fine. And here comes another spear unit that they're just going to break. Yeah, look at them. They're just breaking. And sure enough, guys. Sure enough. Oh, wait. Wait. What's this? Ah. The Stratidots or whatever. Stratidots. Strati. Well, I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is a extremely deadly light cab. They are, they are so uh, annoying is what the word I was going for. They're so annoying because they can move so quick and do so much damage like lightning. Anyways, here comes a massive charge. The Hussars going in. And yes, they actually do get a decent charge and cause the, this uh, Pavi's crossbow unit to break. They do take on some spears though. Let's we'll see how they handle this. Oh yeah, they're going in. This is it. This is their great push. They've got their catapults up here. We've got dismounted chivalric knights moving up. Uh, Venice is going to need to send troops over to that side. They definitely need support here. This is too much. Too much infantry that are about to clash. And I love how it started with the cab charge, but these hussars are charging into pikes. That's not a good sight. What are you doing? These guys are dropping like flies. Unbelievable. Uh, same thing over here. Why are you charging into pikes with Cav? It blows my mind. We got Crowed Axemen. These guys will do a little bit better against the pikemen. And now we've got, ooh, dismounted Norman Knights. Oh, Sicily's so cool. It's such a cool unit. But yeah, Sicily sending up reinforcements to try to help. Poland behind enemy lines. So that is why the Sicilians fell back their Cav. They're trying to keep these Polish cav in check. 
Let's see. Oh, they're oh, they're going for a big. They're, we're gonna have a big cav engagement unless Poland gets out of there, which it doesn't look like they are. This is huge, huge. A good play by Sicily. I don't know if these troops were hidden or what. It's just a lot of chaos going on. But unfortunately for Sicily, Poland is gonna get out of there without losing too many. Uh, yeah. Now they're flinging dead cows, guys. They're flinging dead cows. That's why they're flashing green. Big infantry clash here. Look at this. Norman Knights holding back some Chivalric Knights. I believe the Chivalric Knights are better than, than the Norman Knights. Sorry, words are hard today. Um, so they should break through eventually unless there's some sort of cav support or something. Venice, the Venetians, they need to do something here. Like, what are you doing with your infantry? Get them over to the other side. There's nobody attacking you here. They're all focused on attacking Sicily. He needs to send something over to help the Sicilians. And the Only Portuguese. Half the enemy force remains. All right, what's left of Milan is moving in to support this heavy infantry push. Unbelievable that Venice has not sent sent there you go now he's sending finally a little too late there though but it's better late than never they still have time to recover from this the balance of power is still perfectly even there they go they're charging in they are charging in So he's going to finally put some pressure on the back of the Hungarians who are attacking this main line. The Sicilians, though, are starting to break. They just don't have enough men to hold back this flood. And it's too late. I feel like it's too late. This is going to be a huge turn in the battle. Unless Sicily... I'm sorry. Unless the Venetians can close in here and really help out Sicily. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's just like a river of troops... And Cav closing in. It's total chaos in the back here. Total chaos. Portugal's doing the best they can, but it looks like it's the end for Portugal. There's rotting cow meat being flung everywhere. Sicily's doing the best he can to hold back all this Cav. Oh, man, but there's so much. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. There we go. We must push our I think that's Portugal. I think that's Portugal. So all that's really left of Sicily are some random archer units here and there in Cav. And the Cav is doing everything they can to just keep the Polish back in the uh, Milanese the in Milan. Trying to keep them back, but it just it's not happening not happening all right venice closing in look at this venice they're closing in but do they have enough the balance of power says they do it says they do in fact the other side have lost 60 per 62 percent of their forces killed so the venetians can still pull off a victory here um sicily needs to regroup with them which is exactly what's happening here sicily still has a lot of cav Chivalric Knights charging in against the General's Bodyguard. Let's see if they can break them. Another big unit of Hospitaller charging into some infantry. Getting a nice charge and then he's going to cycle. He's going to fall back and try to do it again. And then we've got some Cav charging up the hill and down the mountain. General's bodyguard mixed in with the Knights Hospitaller. So, yeah, Venice is starting to hit hard. This is going to be epic, guys. This is going to be close. Now we got Venetian archers out of ammo. They're going to just throw their bodies into the fray to just try to help out and hold back all this infantry. Hungarian units are breaking. It's Crote Axemen, but it's a start. It's a start. Here comes Poland. Dismounted Polish Knights. They're going around the flank. They're looking for a soft spot in the Venetian lines. It's hard to see what's going on because all the trees, but there is a nice line battle going on. But I can't imagine Venice will hold on to this one much longer. I mean, we've got dismounted broken lances taking on Italian spear militia. 
You know, like it's not going to last long. Where's the Venetian heavy infantry? But they are going to be able to flank a little bit here with the Pike Militia. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here comes a charge of Italian Spears. No, these guys are breaking. What the heck? These guys have 95 men and they're breaking. That is not good. Trebuchet focus firing on the Polish Cav that's running in the back to the back lines. Maybe if they kill the Polish general, he is a little bloodied. So maybe he'll go down uh, and they can kind of hope to turn this battle around. Oh boy. Yep. Yeah, here comes... Here comes Poland kind of flanking around. I don't know what Italy's doing, or I'm sorry, not Italy's. The, the Venetians, I don't know what they're doing. Our I, allies general lies dead. Oh! By the enemy. We must help his men I, I don't know where that is. There's a big fight going on over here. This is probably where the Venetian players focus. He's micro, microing over here. He's got Venetian archers. They're very tired, but they're fighting a smaller force. A small force of Hungarian Cav. If the Venetians can quickly win here, they can do some hammer and anvil and try to save their infantry. We got a ton of crossbows over here. Here, Here's more pikes. So yeah, they need to set up the hammer and anvil and they got to set it up quick. This is too much of a blob here. It doesn't need to take some of this Cav and get them out of here and run around and get some hits. Oh my gosh, look at this. We still have units over here. A decent amount too they should probably get going i mean what is poland doing with their infantry this is two really healthy units of infantry they could charge in and create some chaos but this is very promising this force right here for the venetians is very promising it's a lot of cav they can get a lot of damage done with this uh, two units of Cav. They also have this unit of Light Cav over here as well. So they can they can definitely get a lot of damage done. Let's see if they can pull it off though. Let's see. Alright. Now Poland's fallen back. Poland is falling back, guys. The Sicilian Cav. He's keeping them alive, and they're causing havoc. Nice. Got their lances down. Not a great charge, but it's something. So they're going to try to clean up this Polish Cav. Or, I'm sorry, Polish Infantry. Back this way. Wow, big breaking here for the Venetian Archers. But the Cav is still alive, and they're going to close in and try to stop the bleeding. It's not really working out for them. They probably got to go for some archer units. I know this infantry might be lost here. Man, this is just pure chaos. This is so close. Wait, the balance of power is actually in favor of the Sicilian Alliance. That's crazy. What a back and forth battle this has been. Sicily still running around with so much Cav. I think it's just going to come down to Cav. The Sicilians and the Venetians still have so much Cav. It's still... Oh, look at the mass break. Milan and the Hungarians mass breaking here. What a twist. Like I said, guys, this was very back and forth. I don't know what they're doing over here. They need to regroup their units. I guess they're kind of protecting this trebuchet as they inch it, for inch it forward. But it's just like there's so much chaos going on. I don't really know. Like, it's just there's no more proper battle lines. I think both sides just need to, like, regroup. But the problem is, is that there's some heavy cab just running amok around the battlefield and crushing this heavy infantry. That's a problem. That's a major problem. They're desperately trying to get their infantry out of there. Look at this. Sicily is being nasty with their with their cav. Look at them go. Absolute disgusting. Our 
allies generalize the oh no the course of this battle changes I think that's the defeat seems almost was certain. that the Polish general there I can't tell but I think it was the Polish general Poland might be out of the game pretty much wait didn't he have no 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 he had some infantry but they've been constantly been run down by the Sicilian cab we got some Hungarian cab trying to uh slow down this process of cycle charging trying to stop the Sicilian cab but it's not going to happen but now we got some crossbow fire oh so they're going to rely oh look at this charge Norman Knights they're going to rely on the castle to protect their flank against the enemy cav the allies have fled the field here comes another charge called true men oh yeah good job nice quick movement there to get these crossbows um the Hungarians here though they could let's see what are they doing it almost looks like they're attacking Milan but they're teammates they should probably get their forces in and kind of just hold here uh but they're about to be charged what are you doing with these chivalric knights uh here comes Venice they're closing in on the flank they finally dealt with the Polish general and now they're gonna they're gonna close in and go after the artillery and some archers try to get them off the battlefield once and for all some archers over here that they could take out but these crossbows they're gonna focus fire on this cab this is perfect the cab needs to hurry up if anything forget about the artillery crew get the, 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 the crossbows a military genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. wow wow there we go the hungarians broke look at them what these are some good units what happened to you they were just sitting there tragic tragic that's what's what that's that's what's what that's what happened yeah venice still has a huge force huge force but he's letting all his cab do all the work look at that so it's gonna come down to this the last stand of milan they don't really have much it's just mostly just some spears and crossbows we're gonna fast forward a little bit the cab's gonna constantly charge in so yeah i don't think milan i pray the course of unless the they can do something insane it seems almost certain i don't think they can pull this off praise to our lord our wow okay that's something lose that's something right there guys so they focus down the enemy general what oh my gosh but it still doesn't matter even if sicily chain routes and it it's looking like that's what's going to happen the crossbows are just tearing them up there's still so much left for the venetians but the venetians have to they, they would have to play this so poorly for them to lose this you know they'd have to just mindlessly charge in and just die to crossbow fire i mean it, anything's possible i suppose i pray the but course of this battle changes i don't know i don't think the Ven i don't think the venetians started. are gonna do that so let's continue to fast forward guys as we wait for uh sicily and the in the venetians to there we go he's charging in cav i swear if he pulls this off that oh my gosh okay let's slow it down so we're starting to get units closing in venice went in with some cap charges charges it didn't work out but now it's all up to the infantry it's all up to these genoese crossbowmen if they want any chance of winning this we got a catapult i think shooting dead cow meat possibly or just shooting normal rounds looks like normal rounds yeah those are normal rounds yes sir so venice is definitely leaning on the this would be his left side i think it's gonna focus on charging in this way and there we go Geno genoese crossbowmen closing it is there something i don't know is there like hidden calves somewhere okay he's got a unit up here too using this little defensive position that's kind of cool firing at the flank of sicily guys it, i mean now there's some cav it's the general but if the general dies here it might be gg he might be the only reason that uh, milan is still in the game another unit breaks guys another unit breaks here finally 
Like, what are you doing, Sicily? Take out this artillery. One less thing you have to worry about. No way is Sicily going to blob up over here. Sicily or uh, Venice. Let's see. Come on. Let's see. Uh, can Milan pull this off? Oh, no. No way now. They still have ammo and they're using fire shot. I thought fire shot wasn't allowed. We'll see. But they got artillery. I mean, come on. There's no there. There's no way. This is an epic last stand, though. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. So that's half of Venice still left. Still intact. Here comes uh, some Knights Hospitaller. Our foolish general has... Ah, uh, there it is. Away. There it is. Our chances of victory with it. Uh, I don't know where he died, but the Vin but the Milan's, Milan's general has perished. And with that, most likely... Oh, yeah, with this cav here. I mean, where were these guys? I Like, I feel like random units spawned out of nowhere. You know, I didn't I didn't see all this cav anywhere. But now they come out of the woodwork. They come out of thin air. And now we got an epic, glorious charge from Milan. One last hurrah. And that's going to about wrap it up, guys. What a fight. I honestly didn't expect the Venetians to win this one. Uh, just because Only of the great double team. Lord, there it is. A military genius can bring us victory from this. Yeah, disgrace. not today. Yeah, after this fight over here, I thought for sure that, you know. Our men are fleeing the battle. Right I'll let them talk. Victory runs away I'll let them heels. talk. I thought for sure that they were going to be able to handle what was left, but great job by Sicily and in, in, uh, in Ven or, yeah, Venice. Uh, great job just holding out this defense position and yes next time it was a great battle very back and forth very back and forth i enjoyed that a lot so this was sent in by trevor shouts shout out to him for sending in a defeat he actually got the most kills here though so that's pretty impressive um he did great at the beginning there he struggled at the beginning but with his teammates uh he it was a great combination he he got a lot of kills i'm actually surprised poland got so few kills um, you know, honestly, I, I was convinced that Poland and the Hungarians, they were going to win their fight by overloading all that infantry and the Venetians taking forever to get, to get around. But it was really the Cav, I think that won the day for, uh, the Venetian side. So GG to all the players. Thanks again, Trevor, for the battle replay. This was a lot of fun. It was really back and forth. Uh, Sicily did really good there with almost 2000 kills, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll go ahead and just show you. You can pause it and see some of these kills here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another another classic battle of Medieval 2 Total War. Just one of my, it's probably my favorite Total War game still to this day. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.